Hello, in this SDL programming video, I am gonna show you how to detect keyboard events. So make sure you've got your SDL project set up, obviously, if you are on Mac or Linux or whatever, doesn't really matter, it'll be the same principle for all platforms, the code is exactly the same. Obviously the running in terms of like the ID might be different, but as long as you know how to do that, you've got it set up, you're all good to go. And I've got an SDL playlist where you can check out a bunch of videos. And I'm just using the source code from the change in the background color. I did do more modification. I changed SDL event object to event instead of window event because it has multiple different types of events. You can pick up window events, keyboard events, mouse events, which I'll be doing very soon as well in a separate video. So first of all, let's just detect when a key has been pressed down and pressed up. To do that, very simple. We just say sdl underscore key down equals event dot type and key had been pressed down we'll literally say key is down we'll end l copy that and i'll put an else actually and you just put key up for this. It is all uppercase, bear that in mind. Key is up. And now if I make it, obviously, if you're on something like Visual Studio or maybe Coblox, it might be, the process might be slightly different. So feel free to, you know, build it and run it however you would with your setup. And now if I was to press something, I was pressing the mouse, that don't work, obviously. If I press, I say the A key, Keys down, you'll constantly keep saying that whilst the key's down, which it is, you might hear that I'll pick up the key momentarily. Hopefully you heard that, it says keys up. That's the same with any key, I'll just press multiple keys right there. But that just tells us that a key is down or but not which particular key. So what if we want to detect if a particular key has been pressed? To do, to do that is extremely easy. So no, just expand this out a bit. We'll comment these lines and we'll put an if statement. We'll detect WASD as if, let's say, we're moving a character around. So we'll say if SDLK underscore A and all the keys are here. So like 0 to 9A, uh, I mean, there's asterisks, like there's loads of them. So feel free to have a look. They have, you know, codes behind the scenes as well. So feel free to take. A look of them so like 97 is you know what's it called ascii for lowercase 97 and this is equal to event dot type dot key not type sorry event dot key dot key sym dot sym and literally we'll just put a c out so it's this one will be pretty simple c out a is down move left for example end l and i'll just duplicate this and modify accordingly for and i'll do else for this Actually, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll leave. Yeah, I'll do else because that's what the source code online is. But you can have it without it as well if you want to. And SDL key. So let's do S. We'll do D, W, and we'll say S is down. Move down. D is down. Move right. W is down, move up. And literally, we just do the same in key up. So now the keys are up instead. These don't change at all, these lines, because these aren't anything to do with if a key is up or down. It's just which key has been, you know, which key has triggered the event. And we'll just say, we'll put, stop moving left. There we go. Save it. And we'll give it a make. 
then we'll run it momentarily boom run it here we go so let me move it over if i press a for example a is down move left if i keep it pressed a is down move left if i press d d is down move right s down there we go and like imagine if we're you know moving our character around that's how it would be so that's keyboard events really those are the main things that you need to know i'll cover you know math events game controller events and window events as well and i'll also do the states the keyboard states where you can get more like live input it's not linked with events i'll cover that in separate videos and just let me know what else you would like to see in this sdl tutorial series i'm going to make it the most comprehensive sdl series like my coco cdx and sfml tutorials out there if you have any questions feel free to join the discord group there's a link in the description if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.